Hey everyone, welcome back. So today you're gonna to watch me work on my own nails. So I'm starting by taking my cuticle nippers and removing the Swarovski crystals that I have on my nails. They're still all intact after three weeks. So now I'm taking my medium ceramic bit and I will remove the color and check for any lifting below. So I'll let you watch me do that. Okay, so I purchased a new uh, cuticle bit off of eBay, so we're gonna try that out. So I'm gonna remove the cuticle off the natural nail because if you don't, of course, I've said in other videos, it will cause lifting. And so far, so good. I really like the cuticle bit. I do like my round one. I would have to say, after using this one, maybe a little bit more, but this one works well too. So I can leave the link below where I purchased this off eBay if you want. Okay, so I decided to use my round cuticle bit as well because above my natural nail, the cuticle that it lifted up, the new one, it just kind of left a little behind so I find this just smooths that out. Now I'm taking my fine sanding band and just wherever the natural nail was, I'm just removing the, any shine that may be there because of course again, it would cause lifting if you didn't remove that shine. So I'll just dust them off, spray them with nail prep and then we're going to be using my uh, Light Elegance air bond and just applying that to the natural nail and I wanted to also show you I showed you in my previous video my alpha brush this one's a number 10 oval I absolutely love these brushes for applying acrylic and they stay really nice after each application definitely something worth buying and really a great price to get them so I'll put the links again and I do have a coupon code for them so check them out if you're needing an acrylic brush made in the USA so I just took my clear acrylic my ugly duckling clear acrylic and I'm just applying it and working to make sure I have an apex at this point So now that the acrylic is dry, I'm just going to file them and shape them to where I'm happy with them and I will be also using my medium ceramic bit to do around the cuticles to make it more flush with the cuticle area 
and you want to do that because you don't want to leave anything open because moisture could get in and that would cause lifting as well so definitely um, doing that and I'll be finished filing after I use my medium ceramic bit so I'll let you watch me do that Okay, now that I'm done filing, I'll just buff them and remove any scratches and smooth out that nail. So I'm using my protein bond, my Young Nails protein bond, and the reason is I find when I apply certain gels to acrylic, they would chip, some don't, but so I'm just playing it safe, and I'm just going to apply a layer of the protein bond and let it dry, and then I'm just going to take that extra precaution, and I'm taking my candy base coat, and I'm going to cover those nails, and this will cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so once that base cured, I'm applying a very thin layer of builder gel and I'm going to be curing it for 60 seconds. The reason is I'm going to be applying some hollow glitter and uh, the hollow glitter works best if the layer is cured and it's just uh, with a brush pushed into that sticky inhibition layer. So we're going to do that here right away. I'll let you watch me do this. Okay, so now that I have it rubbed in, I'm just going to take my fish scale brush and just wipe off any excess uh, glitter that might be left because now I'm going to be taking my Elite 99 top coat. I use this for all chromes and glitters just so I don't get sparkle in my good top coat. So anyways, we're going to put that on each nail and once I get it on, we're going to cure this hand for 60 seconds. Okay, so now I decided to add some stamping to uh, a couple of the nails. So I'm taking this stamping plate, sorry you guys can't see it, it's very um, hard to see until I stamp it and you can see I chose some nice summer flowers design. Anyways, I took my Born Pretty stamping polish and 
stamped it on that nail on that Elite 99 top coat. So I'm gonna also do one more finger. So I'll let you guys watch me do that. And then once we get that done, I will be applying um, my accent shine on to all the nails. And I don't think I show it in the video, but the stamped nails, I do two coats of the accent shine on on top of them just to make sure that it doesn't come off over time. Okay, now that they're all cured, I'm just taking some acetone and removing any of that stamping polish that was left on my skin. Now I'm gonna take some of my LCN Shine On and just shine them up for photos. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.